Is that the fastest you've got? Big talk for a slow guy. Let's see if you've been training your footwork. <laughs> this is nothing. Done this in so long. You'd best hang on tight. Up we go. There we go. This is easy. You're steady now. Keep the pace. Giving up. <laughs> Looks like someone will be pouring wine for me tonight. How about double or nothing? First one back down wins superiority. And no cleaning duties for a month. <laughs> You just don't know when to admit you're beat, do you? You're on. Bet if I climbed up that beam, I could use it to my advantage. I should take a good look before I leap. Looks like the perfect spot to leap. <laughs> Flawless. Huh, that was foolish, but impressive. I'll admit that. Well then, I expect the chores to be done first thing in the morning. Are you mad? That jump was dangerous. A win is a win. All right. Anyway, from here on, we'll travel separately to avoid suspicion. Our mounts are close by. Call them and we'll head back home. No one traces that back to us. I have to speak with Jing as soon as I get back. She has a lot of explaining to do. Help! Bandits have taken our children and captured them over there, in the fields! Bandits again? With hope? I'll do anything. Just let me go. You're free. Get back to the village. Make no sound. Thank you.
Is this my end? Thank you, Yoshia. I will remember this forever. What is happening? Spare no mercy! As you free the last villager, a final bandit comes out of hiding but begs for mercy. Thinking he's harmless, you spare him. But a figure leaps out from behind you and stabs him. It is Nia Jing, the Yoshio's informant. He said he surrendered. And if a lion told you it would not bite, would you walk into its den? Speaking of lions and dens, you never told us the Emperor himself would be at the palace. You saw him? And only by a stroke of luck did he not see us. How did you not know? My sources have never been wrong. I can't believe the bandits attacked again and stole the village's supplies. I'm gonna find their camp. Wait, Ju- You should be coming with me. What you've taken from the palace is too precious to have you running around with it. Now come on, let's go. I'm sorry about the Emperor. Truly, I didn't know. I'm just worried what happened at the palace will have consequences for us. I might not have known about the Emperor, but I promise you, I will take care of this. Thank you. I needed to hear that. That was awesome! The way that you, uh, and, and the way that she, she and then the way that they, uh, awesome! I'm gonna tell the whole village about what you did. Awesome! There, safe and sound. Before I forget. Old fan told me to pass you a message. Please ask the martial arts master to prepare a gift for you. Now while you're collecting your present, I'll be off to fix your mess. You're due a gift. Go ahead. Put it in your hands. Feel its weight. How does it feel? Heavy. Good. Then you will grow. Now, prepare yourself. For what? For a sparring match, of course. How else will you acquaint yourself with this weapon? Attempting offer. Yet, I am uncertain if I should. A true warrior fears no challenge. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's that scoundrel. that gift to use. Your friends came here earlier looking for you. You should find them. There you are. That man has stolen something from me, and I need you to help me get it back. What is it? It's... You'll know it when you see it. Now please. I'll see what I can do. What? Damn it! You have to go after him! Stop right there! This building must be where these thieves have been keeping all their stolen goods. I should find a way in. This section of the wall looks rather unstable. There's some way I can get through. This is... a lot. As you look around the room, Yu Ying rushes in, concerned about the state of its contents. She confesses that these treasures weren't stolen by bandits, but were gifted to her by the people she's helped. This trove is her way of ensuring that the Yoshia have resources to fall back on if things ever go awry. You promise to keep her secret. I should find Chu Huan. 
He did mention something about pursuing the bandits from before. I see you found the bandit camp. What have you learned? See that? The caves over there are where the bandits have been hiding their stolen goods. Now, with their leader out, it's the perfect time to strike. Let's split up to cover more ground. Can't wait for the boss to bring back this new batch of goods. Can't wait for the boss to bring back. Who would have thought these Shonu would have some use after all? Who would have thought these Shonu would have some use after all? The last batch of them had so little meat on the bone, they were practically useless. Huh. There's a key on his body. I should keep it in case. Found the key. As you unlock the door, a sound from the front of the cave draws your attention backwards to the bandit leader entering with a row of slaves in tow, the aforementioned goods. Knowing Chu Huan's history as a kidnapped child, you warn him not to do anything rash, but he's already leaping through the air. to the quieter the better. Order! Head forward! Yeah. 
take this slaver pig! Having dealt with the bandits, you leave the cave and check in with Chu Huan, who requests that you not mention any of this to Yu Ying. Knowing that both he and Yu Ying were saved in their childhoods from a life of slavery by Master Wei Yu, you agree to keep quiet about this sensitive issue.